Hey, Science Seekers, this is Mr. Pfeiffer. We are at Market Me Junior High. I am here with Mr. Minnell, one of the PE teachers. How's it going? All right. We are about to do a lesson today on physics and soccer, all right? Mr. Fuckers wearing his Bayern Music Munich jersey today because they were in the semifinals yesterday in the UEFA Champions League. I don't know what the score is. Don't tell me. This is previously recorded. By the time it's posted, I will have known. I'm going to watch it this weekend. Bottom line, I do like soccer, and I love physics. So let's talk about how they're both connected. Mr. Minnell's going to kick this ball to me. Go ahead. Now, Newton's first law. Object of motion stays in motion, but it can stop if it's acted on by a force. So, first law, object of motion stays in motion unless acted on by a force. Note, there are two things that stop that ball from moving. One, the foot, right? Go ahead, Mr. Manal, kick it back. Can anyone think of the second one? I didn't touch it that time. Why did it stop? Friction, the grass. When two objects are meeting each other, it causes friction. Friction is a force that opposes motion. All of this is associated with Newton's first law. Now, another one is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if I wind my foot back and kick the ball, that's an action. What happens is all the energy goes into the ball and gets transferred into that ball. The action is the hit, the reaction is the ball moving. Go ahead, let's see it again. Action, reaction. Newton's first law, stop it. Notice how when I hit it, it just bounced right back there. See how it hit my foot, I couldn't trap it. That's a reaction, okay? It keeps moving. In space, this stuff would move all around forever. That's the unique thing about Newton's first law and forces. All right, we're gonna go. Peace out, guys. Keep watching Science Secret episodes every day. Bye.